and welcome to Witches in the Kitchen. I am Gretchen and today I am going to be making um, spicy baked uh, eggplant. So we have our eggplant here and first you're just going to um, slice it in half long ways. So we'll get right into this because this is, this is going to take a little bit. This is just going to, what we're going to do first is, like I said, cut it in half and then you're going to just sprinkle a little bit of salt on, on both halves and then you're going to let it sit for 20 minutes. And this just brings out a little bit of the moisture that we, that is already in there so it's not dripping with So just let that go. You can do as many as you'd like. Um, and I'm just doing one. You can do uh, however many fits your family. Um, you will need, I'm just going to use my little cheat sheet here. You'll need some salt, which we already used, some olive oil, hot, hot sauce, garlic, balsamic vinegar, rosemary, parsley, and then salt and pepper to taste. So um, I will be back in about 20 minutes after this is done and show you the next step. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and our eggplant has been sitting for a little bit with the salt on it. As you can see, there may be a little bit of water on top. Um, so now we're going to move on. Actually, you can see that. I don't know. Maybe you can see that. But we're going to go on to the next step. We're going to rinse it off with a little bit of cool water just so that we get the salt off. And then we are going to pat it dry. You can use a... Um, paper towel or you could use a kitchen towel. I've run out of kitchen or paper towels so I'm just going to to gently um, blot it dry with a kitchen towel. Clean kitchen towel of course. Okay and just put them back on your your pan. Okay so there we are. Okay so those are ready for the next step. So now we are going to take our um, next two ingredients, which are two tablespoons of olive oil and a half a teaspoon of, of hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce that you like. We have um, this brand. So um, just a half a teaspoon, not very much. You can do more if you like. Uh, let's get a little, come on, fill up, there we go, okay. And you're just going to put that right in your oil. Okay. And then you're going to take your little, your whisk. Isn't that a cute little whisk? I found that. And you're going to just whisk it right up. And in your little bowl. Okay. Now I did forget to tell you in my last little segment to um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So you may you you can do that all you can do that I've already done it so it's just about ready. Um, you're gonna take this and your your uh, your basting brush and you're just going to brush this across the flesh of the eggplant. Okay. Mm, I love the smell of hot sauce. Okay. Get it good and coated, and that's going to. Um, sear in the flavor of the eggplant as well as um, bring those those that pepper down into the flesh. Give it a nice also a nice little maybe you know little kind of a kind of a crispiness to the to the cut side of the eggplant but not a whole lot. Okay you're going to use all of it. It will soak up into your eggplant so you use all of your two tablespoons of oil on top. Okay, just about done. Mmm, 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 mmm. Smells good already. I haven't even started cooking it. So 350 um, on, an, on a cookie sheet. You're going to cook this for, um, let's see, what does it say, eight to 10 minutes? Yes, eight to 10 minutes. And then you're going to turn them um, over till you get um, so you have the cut side down the second the second cooking, and um, then you're going to bake it another 
another um, seven to ten minutes or se five to seven minutes, whatever, um, until it's until it's soft. Okay. Mm. Okay, we are done with the oil. There we go. Okay, so just put that in your sink. Wash it up later. Okay, so we are going to put this in at 350 degrees and for eight to ten minutes, and then we'll do it again for uh, turn it over um, skin side or flesh side down for another five to seven. So we'll be back in about uh, 20 minutes. So thanks. We'll see you in a, okay. in a few minutes. So we are back, and we are going to uh, assemble the the final. Um, wash or a, a marinade that we're going to put on top of our eggplant. So here we have one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. We have uh, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of olive oil, about two cloves of minced garlic. I like more so I have more in there and a uh, half a tablespoon of, um, actually half a teaspoon of rosemary. So we are going to just um, put all of the ingredients into one bowl. Okay. And the parsley. The garlic. Again, I'm gonna use my little, nice little whisk. Okay. Get all that nice goodness in there. Okay. And then the rosemary. Okay, whisk that all up. Get it all, all the dry ingredients. You can use fresh um, parsley and rosemary. I didn't have any, so I just used dry. Um, get that all incorporated in with the balsamic vinegar. Okay, it looks like we are just about ready to pull those out. So what we're going to do after this is we are going to um, switch your oven to broil because we're going to brush this on and then we're going to broil the um, the flesh side about for about a, uh, about a minute. Um, Actually, we're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to brown, uh, broil the skin side because it's already skin, uh, skin side up. We're going to broil that for about a minute and then we are going to um, brush this on and um, then broil it another minute. So we've got about 15 seconds, maybe less. So um, just about there. Hear it beep. Okay, so we are done. I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on to the broil on high so that it's going to um, bring that down. Okay, so there it is. Oh, it smells wonderful. Look at that dark skin. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for just a moment until I can see that my um, upper broiler is going. Okay. Wait. And don't forget to get out your, your tongs when you so when you turn those over because they are going to be hot. Okay. Okay, it's now on. So I'm going to put this back in and just broil those for one minute. Okay. And then again, we'll take them out and um, flip them over, brush on this, this wonderful rosemary garlic uh, parsley mixture, um, and then put it back in for another minute. It should be so yummy. Okay, we have about half a minute left. Just stick all these in the in the sink so we can wash them up after we are all done. It is smelling wonderful in here. Oh, the smell of the garlic and the smell of I can still smell some of the um, the pepper sauce. Ooh, smells good. 
think when my husband comes home, well, maybe not, but it's got two hours, but it, it, it will most likely still smell pretty good in here. Okay, so there's our one minute. So we're going to take these out, flip them over. Okay, let's see how those look. Okay, flip them over. Oh, they are very soft. Okay, and you know, I think I'm going to use a spatula instead because this is kind of um, kind of thick and chunky. It looks very good though. Okay. No, you on each side. And I want to thank my cameraman today. He's my son. He's 15, almost 15 years old. 15 on the 19th. He has been very, very helpful. So let's continue to put this on, and then we'll just pour some of the juices over the top. Oh. My girls are out in the living room. So you may hear them in the background. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now we're going to just drizzle some of this leftover. Not much. Just drizzle it down so it gets all in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is finished. We are going to put them back into the oven for another minute. So um, this is a, this could be a great side dish or even a main dish. Um, I'm vegetarian, and anything that you know, new and exciting for vegetarianism, um, is good. Um, I actually haven't tried this yet, so this is a a new experience for me um, on this recipe. Uh, it does sound it sounds and smells wonderful. So as soon as this is done, we will. Um, dive into it and give it a try. So I will be back in about 30 seconds um, after we pull it out. So we'll see you in a few minutes, a few seconds. Okay, so we are back. It's been just like 30 seconds, like I told you. We're gonna turn off the oven and pull this out because it is smelling heavenly. Okay, so um, let's take some of this off. And uh, oh my, I want to do this. I'm grabbing two things at once. Okay, so we are going to um, just bring this over here and slice right into it. Oh my heavens, this looks heavenly. And uh, my wonderful cameraman is going to even try it. He is not a vegetarian, he is a serious carnivore. So we will see how he likes it as well. Oh, and when food comes in, yes, the girls come running. Okay. <laughs> so 